Now we're going to move on to a new topic, calculus. But before you try to understand calculus, try to understand the previous topic first. Um, just as a reminder, the idea behind a limit is that you keep on approaching and approaching and approaching and approaching something. Now, by, by you understanding, by, by you having a, a, a clear understanding of limits, it will, it will then help you to understand calculus. Now, let, let, let me give you an example. With cal a, a small part of calculus um, is, is you finding out the gradient of a function. So let's say you've got a function here, f of x here. Uh, suppose you want to find out the gradient at this point. To find out the gradient at a here, what, what you do is you, you draw a, a what's called a, uh, a tangent line that just touches a. And you see the gradient at a here is the gradient of this tangent line here. Okay, so, so for example, if you want to find out the gradient at this point here, then what you do is you, you draw what's called a, a tangent line that just touches this point here, and the gradient at this point here is really the gradient of this tangent line. Okay, so, so suppose you want to find out the, uh, the gradient at this point here. So you would then draw a, a tangent line that just touches that point. Well, it's got to be a straight line. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try my best to draw a straight line here. Yeah, that's a good one. So here, um, you see the, the gradient at this point here is really the gradient of this tangent line here. Suppose you're, suppose you're here, okay, uh, you want to find out the gradient of this function at this point here. So you, what you would do is you would draw a straight line, a, a tangent line, um, that just touches this point, and then you see the gradient at this point here it's really you finding out the gradient of this tangent line. Suppose you're here. You see the gradient at this point here is really the gradient. Well, it's going to be a tangent line that just touches it. Something like that. That just touches it. The, the gradient at this point here is really the, 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 uh, the gradient of this straight line here. It's not really straight, but you, you've got to try and draw it. You got to try and do your best to draw the straight line. So let, let, let's say let's say it's here. The gradient um, at this point here of this function here is well, it's you trying to find it's you trying to draw a straight line. Hang on, a, a, a tangent line. Well, that's not good. Um, uh, let, let's let's try here. Hang on. Yeah. So um, good enough. Um, you see, the, the gradient at this point here is really you trying to find out the gradient of this uh, this tangent line. Suppose you are, hang on, suppose you are here, then, then it's you drawing a, a tangent line somewhere, something like that, and you finding out the gradient of this tangent line. So, so the, uh, the, you finding out the gradient of, of this function here is you really finding out the, um, the gradient of the tangent line. But the thing is, what is a tangent line? You see, at this point here, if you were to draw, if you were to, to draw this, um, this tangent line here, and then you, you, you get your, your friend to draw it. Your friend might, your friend might, might draw a, a line looking some, looking similar to this. How would you know exactly what a tangent line is? You see, this here, you could guess, but you don't precisely know what a tangent line is. You see, this could be a tangent line to you, but then when you get your friend to draw it, he or she might draw it slightly differently, and, and it still looks as if it's touching it. You see, at the moment, we don't have the precise um, definition of a tangent line. We can only guess. We can only draw. We can only, um, we can only do our best to guess this straight line. You see, what a tangent line is, is um, suppose you want to find out the gradient at A here. You, you wanting to find out the gradient at A is really you trying to find out the gradient of the tangent line. But you need to know exactly what a tangent line is. Well, a tangent line is, suppose you have, suppose this point here is A. A tangent line is, let's say, let's say you, you, um, you choose this point here, capital B here. Um, okay. You draw a straight line like this. This is not a good, it's not a, a, a good guess. But what you do is you, you get B to move towards A. It, so you, you get B to tend towards A. So it's just like limits here. You, you're trying to move B along here. So, so hang on. So originally our B was here. So we draw a straight line here. Okay. Uh, and then, and then let, let's move B to over here. And then draw a straight line here. Okay. That's still no good. Let's, 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 let's have B here. Draw a straight line here. That's no good. 
Um, well, get B to move towards A, and eventually, hang on. So so B is here. That's no good. So so basically, get B to move closer and closer to A. Let's say here, and then that's your tangent line. And let's say here, um, that's your tangent line. But as you get closer and closer to A here, it, it really becomes the the tang. It really becomes. A, a, it, it gives you a precise definition of a tangent line. So let's say B is here. And then that's your tangent line. Let's say B is here. As you approach, a, oh, so that's not good. As you approach A here, it, it does give you a precise definition of a uh, of a tangent line. Okay, so so basically the idea is have have B somewhere over here, and then slowly get B to move towards A. So so in a way, it's like the limit of blah blah blah. I, I will I will explain this later on. The limit as as B approaches A, that's what it, that's what your tangent line is. So so when 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 B approaches A, that's your tangent line. Okay. Um. And and then let's say B is here. Uh. And then uh. And then that's your tangent line. You see, you can keep on zooming into this bit here. Let's try let's try to zoom into this bit here. So uh. So zo you zoom into that bit there. Let, let's say here. Let's say B is here. Okay, so the tangent line will be a straight line that touches these two. Now, now let's get let's let's edge move let's edge B closer to A. So there, this here is a better a better tangent line. And then get B to move towards A here. And then uh, and then this here is a better tangent line. Uh, and then and then and then get B to move to move closer and closer to A. Okay, um, and then. You see, when the closer you get to A, the, the more accurate the tangent line will be. And again, oops, uh, again you can again you can zoom into this bit here. Okay, you you, you can keep on zooming into it. So uh, so so something like this. This is A here. Uh, this here is this here is A. Um, and then and then again you, you you this is B here. You can keep on getting closer and closer to A. But the 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 idea, well. As a summary, if you want to find out the gradient at this point here, it's you trying to find out the gradient of the tangent line. Now, the tangent line, the idea of a tangent line is that you you have a point here, and then you keep on moving this point closer and closer towards A. And then, uh, but the, the the important thing is that uh, the tangent line is really something along this line. The limit as B approaches. A. Okay, you will have something here, and I will elaborate more on this later on. Okay, but but just remember, a tangent line is is really you joining two points together, and then getting this point here to get closer and closer and closer to A. Eventually, you will get a uh, a precise a precise definition of a uh, a, um, a a tangent line, the precise line, the precise tangent line. Okay.